Hey guys, it's Gameface here and welcome back to episode 11 of my Southampton career mode and today we're going to be um, getting through the season, playing some matches and hopefully winning uh, plenty more games. We do have this cup match against Tottenham coming up and then we have a whole game in the league uh, after that. So we are going to rest one or two players for this game. Um, so yeah, let me quickly decide what team I'm going to go with uh, and then we'll go from there. Right, and that is the team I'm going to be going with. Um, it is not too far off my starting 11, other than the midfield is a bit changed, I suppose. Uh, but the defence is pretty much the same, uh, and so is the attack. I think the attack's pretty much there, um, just without maybe. I think the right mid's changed slightly. Um, but the, the bench has got some of the players that have rested um, on there, just in case we do need them. And yeah, let's get straight into this Tottenham game. Right, so let's kick off this game. Uh, I think Tottenham, I just saw, had Dumbia. Uh, I don't know whether I've played Tottenham yet in the league or not, so uh, I can't quite really remember um, whether they're that good or not. I've got a feeling I might have done, because I think I've come up against Dumbia um, in this Tottenham team. Hopefully we can get off to a good start, though. I cannot believe this. Tottenham have scored. Oh, my God. What is this for defending? Let's watch it back on the replay. Really was poor on my behalf. I just sliding in constantly. I mean, you can see all the times that I try and win the ball back. And in the end, they just pass it through my defence, and it's now 1 0. Really poor defending. Campbell's got it now, though. He's running down this line. He's left footed, so I'm going to cut inside. Oh, it just missed. So near. Just puts it a little bit wide there. Not quite enough curl to put it in the back, uh, into the bottom left hand corner. Oh my god, Tottenham had another great opportunity to score there. And uh, I didn't quite show you it, but um, yeah, it was a very good opportunity to score. They did just hit the post, and we've not been able to counter attack from that. Shane Long's gone through now, he must score here. Just before half time, and it's saved from Vaughan. And he should have done better there. We are losing 1 0 at half time. Pretty poor first half, we do need to make some changes, we did just have a brilliant opportunity to score but it was saved and uh, really not good enough in that first half, we will have to change it quite a bit. So I've made all three changes, I'm bringing in Tadic, Schneidlin and Mayuka on uh, and that means I have taken uh, Ward Prowse, Campbell and Wanyama off, uh, moved Gaston Ramirez back to that centre mid position there uh, which I believe he can play uh, and we'll see how that goes, hopefully that's a bit better. Um, because Tadic I think we really are missing along with Schneidlin and then I thought Mayuka down that right hand side is right footed uh, so I won't have to keep on cutting inside like I did with Campbell uh, so that gives us a bit more of an opportunity to go to the byline there Shane Long into Schneidlin Tadic is going to shoot oh not too far away that one I don't think uh, but that's going to be a yellow card for is it Schneidlin it is uh, for a poor tackle on one of the players let's have a look at it no we won't have a chance there we are yeah, very bad tackle. I've now put Mayuka as striker and Shane Long as right winger. Just because Shane Long's running out of energy now. And I really need someone with uh, good energy and pace down that middle. Uh, and I think Mayuka could provide us with that. Tadic has it now. Can he play Mayuka through? He has done. Mayuka. Ramirez. one all. 78th minute. We've got 12 minutes left to get a winner. Come on. We've not really looked like scoring, to be honest. It has been pretty sloppy in that midfield. Uh, but hopefully, uh, we can try and get a result now with 12 minutes to go uh, and get us straight through to the next round without having to go into extra time or a replay, whatever happens in these rounds. Klein's in there. Oh, it's off the bar. Oh, my God. That was a great opportunity for Tottenham. Now we can counter-attack, though. Tadic has Mayuka in front of him. It's a great opportunity, this one. Mayuka's going to come inside, and he's nearly got it. Mayuka's through, and we can't get past that final man. Tottenham are through, Soldado. Oh my god, another brilliant opportunity for Tottenham. And they haven't taken it. It's a good opportunity here, Mayuka's through to finish the game off. 2-1. Mayuka scores, oh my god. Finally got the goal. 90th minute. Look at that for a ball through. I think it was from Long, it's about the only thing he's done that's right, uh, but I think it was Tadic who actually created it initially, uh, a brilliant goal, good finish there from Mayuka, I think I was right to put him up front and move Shane Long out to the right, um, it seemed like a good decision and it has paid off nicely, and we have won the game 2-1, brilliant stuff there in the last sort of 10-15 minutes of the game, 
managed to turn around uh, us losing 1-0 and uh, we've won the game 2-1 I think we pretty much deserved it on shots uh, and chances created uh, but, but uh, possession wise we were pretty poor actually there not good enough at all uh, possession uh, but we do go through to play West Ham I think yes we will be playing West Ham we've got match rescheduled scheduled against Arsenal and we've got a little bit of prize money there's not even any point I was giving uh, I was getting prize money to be honest may as well give it to charity or something like that uh, we can still see we are top of the table uh, four points ahead of Chelsea that's pretty good um, and uh, yeah 25 points from nine games uh, so we're not too far off full uh, maximum points there and I don't think we do actually have anything to look at emails now since I've used quite a few players in the last game I'm gonna have a bit of a struggle as to who I'm gonna pick for this whole game um, so it will be a weakened team I think this one Right, and that is the team I'm going to go with. It is quite weak, in, to be honest, uh, but I still think we can get the three points uh, against Hull. Uh, so let's get straight into this game. Bad tackle from Wanyama. It's going to be a yellow card. Ten minutes in. Gnabry's got the ball now. It's a good opportunity for him. Still going, Gnabry. Oh, it's just over the bar. Very unlucky. Probably should do slightly better, actually. Maybe just get it on target at least there, you would have thought. Good shot here. Oh, off the bar. So unlucky. Comes in on his right foot. Uh, I'm not really too sure who that was, to be honest. Uh, was it Muriel on his right? Brilliant strike. And Rodriguez here. Oh, my God, he saved it. A bit better in this game, despite us having a weakened team. Uh, we do seem to be playing a lot better. Uh, and that is going to be a booking, I would have thought. Yep, yeah, Hernandez. Ward Prowse is going to shoot, I think, here. Good save from the goalkeeper. It's going to be a corner. Oh, it's gone in! Jay Rodriguez. I wasn't even commentating because I didn't expect that. I was going to take it short and I thought, no, I'll lob this one in. And to be honest, it wasn't the best of uh, balls in. But look at that. He's nodded it in and the goalkeeper hasn't got there. I was not expecting that from Jay Rodriguez. Right into the corner as well. Brilliant little nod on from him and the goalkeeper somehow doesn't get there and we are winning 1-0 And it is half time. We are winning 1-0 not a bad first half performance um, We've not really had too much to defend which is always good um, But it's mostly been in the midfield and at their side of the pitch really um, But uh, a good first half and uh, I think we'll continue to play as we are There's no point bringing on your know, key players that are resting this game um, when we're actually winning 1-0 and we do look in control of this game. We're having a bit more possession as well this match. Uh, I actually just thought that was our play, but it's the referee then. So, uh, yeah, a bit better this game. Jerry Rodriguez to shoot, and it's a good save from the goalkeeper. Wanyama's off. Wanyama has gone. Oh, my God, I did not mean to do it quite like that. Oh. Damn, damn, damn. Yeah, I did not mean to do that, quite obviously. Oh, down to 10 men. Muriel's won it back off Curtis Davis. Muriel's still going. Oh, it's saved by the goalkeeper. Great save. Wins it off the last man and loses him there. Just couldn't quite make the angle right. And uh, he's gone out for another corner. Lundegaard's gone through. Great opportunity off the post. Such a shame, that would have been a brilliant ball through as well. To get a second goal when we're down to 10 men would have been really good. But we have actually been playing pretty well, uh, even without Wanyama. And a time for a change, I think, with us as well. Uh, I think Michael Dawson was coming off for them. We're going to bring on Pele, take Muriel off. Uh, we're also going to bring on Campbell as well. And who did I just take off then? I don't think I did mean to do that. Lindegaard. Can Campbell even play there? I don't think he can. Uh, no, we'll just go with that there. And Gnabry can go and play centre mid. Uh, we've got Schneidlin to bring on. Yeah, we'll bring on Schneidlin. Uh, we'll take Gnabry off and we'll just leave it like that. Uh, I think. Do all three subs with 12 minutes to go. We can now start to play the long ball because we do have Pele up there. Uh, we can hopefully head down. Uh, to any midfielders that we have nearby. Campbell's left footed, but I'm going to try on his right. And we have one to throw in. Pele's gone through. And it's saved by the goalkeeper again. He has done pretty well, this goalkeeper. A lovely bit of interchange there between Schneidlin and Pele. 
Uh, but the shot wasn't quite good enough. And Campbell will take this one. Pele's in there. Great save again by the goalkeeper. Really good form today. Uh, to say he's not even their starting goalkeeper, I don't think. Didn't really recognise his name anyway. Orion, I think. Something like that. He's playing really well this game. Stones is in there. Cleared off the line this time. They really don't want us to score a second goal. And now they can counter-attack. If they're going to try. And we have won 1-0. One Despite us being down to 10 men, we've managed to win this game against Hull away. And uh, it was Jay Rodriguez's little flick on uh, from that free kick that you can see here that has won us the game. Uh, even though for some reason it has just changed. There we are. This is the goal. Little flick on and into the back of the net. And we won 1-0. I think we pretty much deserve that. You might not have seen the stats there quickly um, flash up, but Hull only actually had uh, one shot, and it wasn't even on target, so we definitely deserve that. Uh, player suspended, Wanyama, uh, so that's a one-match ban, I think it said, and uh, we will continue to sim all the way to the next game. Hopefully the players will be nice and refreshed for this game against Leicester. I think they should be. Uh, I might make a few changes, uh, but we are going to have to leave that for the next episode. The time is about up. And uh, do we have an email to look at? We don't. It's just the um, press conference thing. Uh, but that is it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. We can actually see here that West Brom maybe have a takeover. Um, something like that, which would be interesting. Uh, believed to be in the billions of dollars. Uh, imagine that, a West Brom being at uh, the top end of the league. That would be really interesting. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this, then please go leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for episode 12, uh, where we will play Leicester and Aston Villa. And maybe even um, fit in a third game uh, next time as well. Uh, but thank you for watching, and goodbye.